While on the diamond, poor field conditions wiped out today's softball doubleheader between the Great Falls and Helena schools. But when the Bison eventually do hit the field this year, they'll do so with sky high expectations. Brett Kennedy reports. The Great Falls High softball team came so close to a championship last year, losing to CMR in the championship series. But this year, the Lady Bison are more focused on the task at hand and are more experienced. The team returns six starters this year, which helps in trying to revamp for another state title attempt. Saying focus in practice and in games, probably bringing up our intensity a little bit more in the beginning and saying it through the end, so starting hard from start to finish. We're just going to have to play, play the game. I mean, we got to have, have good pitching, which I think we're going to have. Uh, hitting and defense is going to be key. We've been working hard on the hitting, and uh, defense is looking pretty good. And you just got to put it together. You never know. You can have all the talent in the world, and if they don't play too well together, then it doesn't turn out right. So, But these girls all get along, and uh, so far in practice, since we've been outside the last few days, it's been looking pretty good. Of those starters returning, perhaps the biggest is pitcher Aaron Hawker. With CMR's Tristan Achenbach now gone, Hawker now has a great chance to solidify herself as the best pitcher in the AA. She's even better than last year. She's throwing the ball harder. The ball still moves well. Her spots, she's, she's doing real well. I think she's going to have a really good year. And and uh, hopefully we back her up with some bats and some defense too. Uh, we also got Anna Toon, sophomore, throws the ball real hard. So uh, we're hoping between the two of them that we can help them out a little bit and have a great year. I worked on a lot of things, always trying to get better. That's my biggest thing. Um, been working on all different pitches, trying to get more movement, trying to increase my speed this year. Um, other than that, it's just like the same thing. You just got to keep on working hard and playing for the team. As the season begins, the Lady Bison can't get ahead of themselves. As talented and experienced this roster looks on paper, it won't mean anything if the team can't mesh well together. There's plenty of good teams in the AA, and these girls will get plenty of chances to prove that they can be a force again this year. Pretty pumped this season. We're ready to go. We have to work hard, of course, always. Have that mentality that we are a strong team, but we have to not let any teams get to us and take them for granted. Every team is good here, so just keep on fighting. Brett Kennedy, MTN Sports. And of course, there are four new dugouts at the multi sports complex, courtesy thanks in parts to the Conferro Sports Foundation, which is holding its annual mixer on May 9th at the Expo Park. You can find more information on that at montanasports.com as well. We'll be right back.